in this box, or we're playing out of tune on a violin. Okay, Pretzel, let's get out of here. For me, name's not Sergeant Badge. Ah, perfect. We got away with a million bucks. Yeah, Rocky, and nothing can go wrong now. But later, high over Lost Valley, something did go wrong. The plane made a sharp turn and... You jake! You turned so sharp, the money box fell out. And it's going down into Lost Valley. Lost Valley? But nobody can get into Lost Valley. The mountains are too high around it. That money is gone for sure. Oh, no. I'm getting that money back. I'll put an ad in the paper and get parachute jumpers who'll skydive into Lost Valley. Skydive? Who'd be nutty enough to make that kind of dive? Watch this dive, Chumley. A perfect swamp. Well, hey, can you see? Why don't you watch this dive? Chumley, a very tricky dive. We're so good, it's too bad we can't find a job as divers. Hold it. Hold everything. Uh, what's the matter, Tennessee? Just listen to this ad. Divers want it. Big pay, short hours, apply Rocky Maninoff. Hood Apartments. The perfect job for us, Chumley. Let's get dressed and sneak out of here. I don't see how that ad is going to help us. Nobody would be wacky enough to skydive into Lost Valley. Somebody always answers a one-head, Pretzel. And we'll hire the first knight who knocks on that door. We're here to answer your ad for divers. You're hired. Sign a contract. But don't you want to see us dive? Just sign, Bobo. We'll watch you dive later. See how easy it is, Chumley? Now we're professional divers. That's right. And you make your first dive at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Meet me and Pretzel at the airport. Airport? I didn't know they had a swimming pool at the airport. What's with the swimming pool bit? You're going to be skydiving at the Lost Valley. Uh, uh, skydiving? Uh, but skydivers dive out of planes with uh, parachutes. You said it, Bobo. And if you don't get to the airport at 3 o'clock sharp, I'll play a little tune on my violin. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, sure. We'll be there, Mr. Mananoff. Uh, but gee, Tennessee, we don't know anything about skydiving. All right. We'll find out. We'll go see Mr. Wooly. So, you want to know something about parachuting, eh? Well, we wouldn't want to fall down on a job, now would we? Get it? Fall? <laughs> yes. First, let's make a small model of a parachute. Great, Mr. Whoopi. What do we use? Well, we take an ordinary handkerchief and four pieces of string all the same length. We tie one end of each piece of string to one of the four corners of the handkerchief. Like this. Uh, gee, Mr. Whoopi, that looks easy. It is, my boy. Next, we tie the four other ends of string to this toy soldier, or any kind of way to act as the man. And now, we're ready. We fold the parachute carefully and toss it into the air, and whoopee! It floats gently to the ground. Look at that, Chumley. Nothing to it. Of course, a real parachute is much bigger than our model. Usually about 24 feet across. It spreads out so far that it can't push the air out of the way easily. And that resistance is what makes the parachute float down slowly. It sure is big, all right, Mr. Whoopi. Yes, indeed. That's why a jumper can have a parachute spread out over him in a plane. The parachute must be folded up, but arranged so that it can open easily. Then it's put into a pack attached to a harness the jumper wears. When the jumper makes his leap, he lets himself fall until he's clear of the plane. And then he pulls a little cord attached to the parachute, and whoopee, it opens up. Thanks a million, Mr. Whoopi. We're making our jump this afternoon. What? Oh, no, Tennessee. I thought you only wanted some information about parachuting. You can't jump, except for real emergencies. Parachuting should only be done by those who've had very thorough training. I'm afraid it's much, much too dangerous for you and Chumley. You see, Tennessee, too dangerous for us. Zowie. I didn't realize it was so dangerous. I guess we'll have to change our plans. Uh, but thanks anyway, Mr. Whoopi. 
So long, boys. Hurry, Chumley. We'd better rush back to the zoo and hide out, or that thug, Rocky Malinoff, will find us. You speaking about me, Bobo? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mr. Malinoff, but we just discovered we have a previous appointment for this afternoon. Uh, we won't be able to do that skydiving for you. Oh, that's too bad. Because I get very upset when you break appointments. Ah, uh, wait. Wait. I think we can uh, cancel that other appointment. And so our heroes were soon at the airport, climbing aboard Rocky Maninoff's small plane. Okay, Pretzel, Lost Valley is right below. Start circling the spot. Now, you guys remember all the instructions I gave you. And don't forget my box. Okay, which one of you is first? Uh, you go ahead, Chumley. After you. Uh, no, that's okay, Tennessee. After you. Uh, after you. Uh, after you. Uh, after you. All right, uh, knock it off. I'll settle this. Yeah! It opened. Tennessee tuxedo will not fail. And now you, Boo Boo. Uh, gee, Mr. Maninoff, if you'd like to go in my place, I don't mind. Yeah. Uh, let, let, let's see now. I'm supposed to pull the cord. I'm supposed to pull the, 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 pull the... Where's my cord? Where's my cord? Yeah! Uh, gee, the ground wasn't so hard after all. Get off, Chumley. Get off my parachute. Uh, okay, Tennessee. I'll come down with you. No, no, get off, get off. We're going down too fast. We'll crash. Yo! Jim with it, walrus. Do you look over there, Tennessee? It's the box Mr. Maninoff told us to get. Well, that's good. But where's the big basket we're supposed to be picked up in? Mr. Maninoff said we'd get it right away. Do you dear Tennessee, you got it. And moments later, our heroes with Rocky Maninoff's box were inside the basket, waiting to be picked up. Okay, you guys, bring the box up the ladder. Sorry, Mr. Maninoff, but we've had enough. We'll just stay here. But we can't land like this. Climb up here. No thanks. Then I'm coming down. Now, give me that box. Look out, you're rocking the basket. Well, it looks like Rocky Maninoff made a perfect getaway with all that bank money. I guess we'll never find it now. Don't say that, Sarge. I bet you we'll get a break in this case yet. Oh, sure, sure. Maybe Rocky Maninoff and all the money will just come falling out of the sky right into our laps. Well, Chumley, how does it feel to be heroes? Our skydiving certainly broke up that bank robbery. Uh, yeah, Tennessee. Our skydiving just about broke up everything. <laughs> <laughs> Come on and see, 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 Tennessee Tuxedo. See, 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 Tennessee Tuxedo. Tennessee Tuxedo and it's Tennessee.